Hi again, everyone, and welcome to Omaha and the NC2A Tournament Edition of Badger Breakdown brought to you by U.S. Cellular. I'm Mike Lucas from UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay. And Matt, do you think pressure is attached to a number one seed, no matter who that might be? I think it can be, but this team is pretty good if it, you know, Bo's always good about this year being this year, last year being last year. But one of the things that struck me about last year's run was that they just they enjoyed it. Rather than thinking one and done, one and done, one and done, they're enjoying the experience. Is there pressure with being a one? Yeah, but I think there was going to be some pressure anyway because of the expectations based on last year. They still strike me as a team that's enjoying this more than thinking about the pressure of it. Well, do you think the experience that they gained last year with that deep run will help them this year? I think it can. I mean, they, they know what it's like. You know, Zach Showalter saw it as a red shirt last year, but otherwise, these guys, you know, Bronson's role was different, Nigel's role was different, but they were still integral parts of that run. I've got to think that that experience has helped them throughout the season, and it can certainly help them now. The first day of the tournament may have sent us message throughout the tournament, made a statement with two 14s winning. You can't take anything for granted. Yeah, it's one of those things that always happens. The Big 12 is going to get trash right now. Big 12 had really good basketball this year. Big 12 had a really bad day on Thursday. And you mentioned a couple of those three versus 14s. It's part of what makes this month great, unless you're the, on the other side of it. If you're Iowa State today, you're not feeling very good. If you're Baylor, if you're Texas, but it's also what draws us to it. And let's face it, Mike, you know, it'd be a, a good Wisconsin contingent here. But if this thing gets close late, who do you think people are going to pull for who otherwise wouldn't care? That's how it works. It's a great time of the year. It's the time of the year where if you don't play your best basketball, if you don't come out ready to play, you're done. And that's kind of scary in a way, but it's also exciting because, you know, you're playing for something. You're playing for a championship, and, and we understand we can get there. So that's the fun part about it. I think we agree with them looking over the film and the things that they were able to do on the basketball court, especially the defensive end. Uh, I think that they are definitely better than the 16 seed. We're talking about the value of experience for Wisconsin having made that final four run last year. Well, they're taking on a Coastal Carolina team that had Virginia down at halftime in last year's tournament. Yeah, had them down by five, had them down by as many as 10 before halftime, a five point game at the half. And just reading some quotes from Tony Bennett after that game, he's a kind of challenged his team because they, there was a little bickering going on saying, hey, just play, just, just play the game, relax. And eventually they were able to come back and, and win the game. Coastal Carolina, we, we see this all the time if, if it's in November, December, or now. Teams like Coastal Carolina, who maybe we don't know a lot about, they know about the Badgers. They have guys from bigger cities. They have some transfers. They're probably not going to be intimidated by this. As cliche as that is, I think it's true. And they're a team that's undersized, but they spread the floor. They have guys who can drive the ball. I'm sure they're just going to let it rip, see what happens. Uh, number zero, we're saying he's kind of he's got a game similar to D'Angelo Russell kind of. Uh, he's got he's a lefty who can really score the ball, so we gotta take we gotta really focus on him and make sure he doesn't get hot. Number twenty-two, Wilson. Uh, I think it's Wilson. Uh, he's a he's another scorer. They got a lot of guys that can really score the ball, so if they get hot, they can be really dangerous. So we don't want them to get hot, and we gotta take care of business right away. Some pretty good memories in this building for Wisconsin basketball. Now they get a chance to recreate some more. Yeah, you know, looking back, this was a place where, you know, Bo doesn't do this, but we can. Greg Steensma had a really good uh, game in this building. Now, Greg's gone on. He's doing pretty well for himself in the NBA. But that was a matchup Wisconsin against Kansas State in the round of uh, 32, where I think most people thought K-State was going to win. You have Michael Beasley. You had some big, big-time talent on that team and Wisconsin was able to get through en route to the Sweet 16. So yeah, whatever uh, whatever magic was in the bottle uh, back in 2008, you want to have more of it here this week and that'd be great. For Matt LePay, I'm Mike Lucas. Thanks for watching Badger Breakdown brought to you by U.S. Cellular.